What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict, bringing you my top picks for Friday's main DraftKings MLB slate, guys. All right, guys, we have a huge 14-game slate, guys. So if you love DFS like me, go ahead and hit the like button for me and uh, subscribe to the channel so that way you can get my, uh, my future videos, guys. All right, I'm primarily MLB, NBA, and NFL, guys. But uh, if you could drop a comment below, let me know what your favorite sport is for DFS, Daily Fantasy Sports, guys. All right, just trying to get some data on uh, maybe possibly opening up my uh, offering, so... All right, so let's get into today's top picks, guys. So on the board, you're going to see my top picks, guys, for the guys who just want to come and get the picks and keep moving. Here you go. All right, so I'm going to go with the ground, man. You know, you get a $500 discount from Corey Kluber, right? And uh, you get a, a team that has a high strikeout rate versus righties in a extreme pitcher's park. All right, guys, those all sound like positive to me. All righty. But you do have Corey Kluber, man, who's an elite pitcher, right? All right, and so he's on the on the slate today. So that's somebody that you could definitely pay up for, but you're not gonna be able to get both of these guys. But I'm gonna go with the guy in the better um, spot as far as uh, the the park and the uh, team that he's facing. So, but you do got Kluber here, guys. All right, if you look at his WHIP, 0.76, has 37 Ks, a 1.96 ERA, and a 301 record. All right, so you know he's in a prime matchup by Degrom. You know, he got 40 Ks. He's 2 and 0, but he has a 2.53 ERA. But again, I like his chances versus this team uh, with the high strikeout uh, percentage for San Diego. All right, so in an extreme hitter park, I mean, uh, pitcher's park. All right, so next pick is going to be my catcher guys, and this is uh, Gary Sanchez. Man, he's in a prime matchup um, versus a lefty. All righty, and uh, he has six home runs on the season, guys. He's been on an amazing tear, as you see. He put up 30 a couple games ago, 18. All righty. So um, I like his chances. Uh, and I believe he's batting fifth in order, but I like Gary Sanchez in this position uh, versus the Angels. All right. Valencia, this guy here is a uh, BVP player, I believe. If I remember correctly. Yeah, if we go over here, Valencia has faced this guy 11 at bats, has four hits and two home runs. All righty. So it sounds like a small sample size, but he has, uh, he's on the $2,700, guys. So. He's going to save me some some money at third base, all right? Hopefully, he can get a couple of hits or a dome. That would be nice. And, uh, at three, at 2.7K, that's great. All right, Tim Anderson. I like these White Sox guys versus uh, Kansas City. But um, if you look at the splits on this team, guys, he's played them three times, 13 at-bats. He has three hits. He has a couple of RBIs and a couple of home runs, guys. And his average is low. So I would definitely consider this a GPP play, as you can see, guys. But at 3.7K. All righty, he has a chance of uh, knocking out a dome for you. But, uh, again, GPP only play right there, guys. At shortstop. All right, now I guess a, a better pay for cash would be probably the Jong has been hot lately. All right. Look at that. 10, 12, 11, 10, 21. All right, this guy here, he's back from um from injury. Uh, he's a good play. Bad in the 368 average. All right. But, uh, and again, he has a good history versus Tampa Bay. All right. So, hey, uh, that's a couple options for cash. But, uh, all right, another play, off-fielder, uh, Leon's Martin. He's batting leadoff. And uh, if you look at the uh, splits versus this team, he has a home run, a few RBIs. He's hitting about a 385, averaging around 14 DraftKings points. I like his chances here, man. So this is Martin. So I believe he's batting lead off. Yes, he's batting lead off right here, guys, against Tillman, guys. All right. He's a 4.4K pitcher for a reason because he's trash. All right. You probably can stack up this whole game. All right. Because you see it's the, about a 10 point uh, run total projected on this uh, game right here. But I like I like Leon's Martin, guys, versus a righty. You know, he's hitting a 1 3 3. But again, if you look at the um, <clears throat> lefty versus righty, I, I, I like it. All right. I like his chances to knock it out the park. So I'm rolling with him. All right, and then Steve Pierce, all right? This is a guy, again, has three home runs on the season, batting up 300 average. And, uh, again, if you look at the splits versus this team, he has a pretty good history versus him. has two home runs, but only 10 at-bats. All right, and, again, he has a nice Woba versus the pitcher, and the pitcher's giving up a nice Woba. 
um, versus uh, that uh, particular hitter's um, handedness. All right. So how do I know that, guys? Here's how. I use this app called Draft Dashboard. All righty. So uh, as you can see here uh, with Alonzo, if you hover over his stats right here, it shows that Alonzo is hitting a .772 OPS versus righty. And Ramirez is giving up a 1.232 OPS versus lefty. So that means you want to stack lefties against this dude. So if you like that player, you go ahead and you add him to your watch list. All right, by doing that, and as you add him onto the watch list, he shows up under your watch player. Now, in the description of this video is a link for a seven-day trial for one buck to draft dashboard. All right, if you go through that link, you will be able to get my player's pool by going into your sets, uh, your stats and uh, going here and clicking on watch uh, DK Addicts picks and once you do that my player pool will show up in your uh, player pool and you can go to the lineup optimizer right here and let it spit you out of the lineup all right if you like that lineup you just click on here for save lineups and if you want to up upgrade some players like you see right here Jose Martinez has several upgrades so you can go through here and you can select who you want to upgrade to all right and it's that easy guys so um, let's say I want to get Kahana all right and again if you like that one, you save it. All right. So that's my top picks for today, guys. It's a 14 game slate, guys. There's a lot of places to go. I would try to focus on the games that you feel like are going to score the highest points and um, narrow your player pool down to those couple of games. Because when you have 14 games, man, there's so many spots to, uh, to run to. All right. So um, good luck tonight. And I'll see you guys on the next video.